Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do I file tax returns? Are you wondering how to file your tax returns? It's a process that might seem complicated, but it's actually quite straightforward once you know the steps. First, you need to determine if you have to file a tax return. You can use an IRS online tool to figure this out based on your income and filing status. For example, if you're single and your income is below $13,850, or if you're married filing jointly and your income is below $27,700, you might not need to file. However, it's often a good idea to file anyway, especially if you had taxes withheld from your paycheck, as you might be eligible for a refund too. Next, gather all your necessary documents. You'll need forms like W-2 from your employers, 1099 forms if you're a freelancer or have other income sources, and any documents showing dividends, interest, or student loan interest. Make sure you have all these forms before you start filing. Now, let's talk about how to file. You have several options. You can file online using the IRS Free File program if your adjusted gross income is $73,000 or less. This program offers free tax preparation software that can guide you through the process and help you find deductions and credits. For those with higher incomes, the IRS also provides electronic versions of the paper forms, which will do the math for you, but offer less guidance too. If you prefer a more traditional approach, you can file using paper forms. You'll need to fill out Form 1040, the U.S. Individual Income Tax Return, and mail it to the IRS. This method takes longer, so plan ahead to meet the usual April 15th deadline. There's also a new option called Direct File, which is being piloted in 12 states for the 2023 tax year. This allows you to file your taxes online at no cost through the IRS website, too. If you need extra time, you can file an extension, which gives you an additional six months to submit your complete return. If you owe taxes, you still need to pay your tax liability by the original due date to avoid penalties and interest. When filing, consider using direct deposit to get your refund quickly. If you have a bank account or a prepaid card that accepts direct deposit, you can provide the account and routing number on your tax form, and the IRS will deposit the funds directly into your account. This is usually the fastest way to get your refund, typically within 21 days, too. Finally, if you need help, the IRS website is a great resource. You can find answers to most of your questions online, or you can contact the IRS by phone or visit a local taxpayer assistance center. Remember, the IRS does not accept tax-related questions by email for. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.